Monster Box time. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Really appreciate you watching my videos. I appreciate it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, even check out the description below because I have some really cool links in there. And uh, this is a big one, folks. This is my completed monster box. Actually, I'm going to be opening up the final tube in a moment. But it's really about the five lessons that I learned while stacking this thing. You know, if you had told me back in May of 2018, when I started my stacking journey, that I would have a full monster box, I never would have believed it. Quite frankly, I didn't even know what a monster box was. <laughs> I had just gotten my very first tube. You know, it was a it was a tube. I think it was yeah, it was a 2018 tube of beautiful uncirculated American silver eagles. <laughs> and you know, silver eagles or government bullion, they're a big part of stacking the Yankee way. But again, this is an accomplishment that. Um, I really am stunned, quite frankly, that I've accomplished. Um, you know, and last year, Silver Dragons and I decided to, you know, have it out. Let, let, let's have a challenge here, you know, and, and he did some videos on what a uh, Monster Box challenge is all about. I'm not sure, like him, where it started from, but a lot of people have really used this as a um, uh, a goal, uh, the finish line, if you will, or at least a milestone uh, with collecting American Silver Eagles. So Silver Dragons and I decided to challenge each other. And uh, he had an early lead on Yankee. <laughs> I kind of, I don't know, played a little game of rope-a-dope with him. Um, uh, maybe, you know, tortoise in the hair type of thing. Kind of said, oh, Silver Dragons, you're so far ahead of me. <laughs> but then I turned it on. Okay, I didn't, I didn't blow my budget. I didn't do anything outside of my, you know, stacking strategy. But I really focused on Silver Eagles for months. Um, I reallocated uh, some of my stacking funds uh, towards Eagles exclusively. I, I had some stuff I was selling on eBay, and when I got that money, I just put it right into this. <laughs> I was really, really trying to catch up to him, and I, I actually passed him. That was a shock. I, I was ahead, right? And I thought, you know, maybe I could beat him. <laughs> I had a lead. I had a few tubes, I, I, quite a few tubes, actually. And, uh, you know, I really thought I had a shot. Now, I'm a competitive guy, okay? I, 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 you just ask my family. When I'm playing a game, I want to win, okay? It's, it's, it's no prisoners. <laughs> I go at it. So, you know, I, I'm competitive. However, that brings me to lesson number one. Don't ever underestimate silver dragons. <laughs> what can I say, guys? I mean, the silver dragons is an amazing stacker. I mean, he is, he is intensely driven. He is an incredible uh, talent when it comes to, uh, you know, stacking and pouring, uh, creating YouTube content. Um, he's amazingly resourceful. Um, I, I, I've known him for you know, a year and a half now. He was my very first sub. Oh my word, he is a freaking bundle of millennial mojo, all right? <laughs> and, you know, I wanted to beat him. I'll be, I'll be first to admit that, okay? But, you know what? I, uh, I have the honor of calling him my friend. He's probably the closest friend I have on YouTube. And uh, I value that tremendously. And yes, I did underestimate his final kick to the finish line, okay? And he beat me. <laughs> Flat out, he did. <laughs> um, you know, by how much, you may ask? Well, uh, in uh, January, 
I was, like I said, several tubes away uh, from beating him. Um, and then a, uh, what should I call him? Uh, a foreign entity decided to meddle in our internal affairs. I won't say who it was. <laughs> ah, yes, man. I'll tell you, he's a great guy and an amazing stacker in his own right. I'm, I've gotten to know an international stacker better. I've actually met him uh, in person uh, twice. So, yeah, I, I really appreciate uh, his, his stacking. But uh, he did meddle, okay? He egged silver dragons on. He tried to play kingmaker here, okay? <laughs> he made dragons think that I was like I don't know, two coins away from finishing in first place. So, you know, what he did was actually a very generous thing. He let both of us buy some silver eagles from him at a really good price, okay? But what I didn't know was that he had totally spooked silver dragons and that dragons went completely ham. And he was just had to win okay he that guy is motivated he does not want to lose anything <laughs> i actually only had a tube and a half left to stack so like 35 coins all right and you know i thought i had a good cushion so i got enticed into a, a, a sweet deal by jm bullion I'm, I'm wondering if people uh in the community are watching this right now actually took part in that deal it was for uh 2019 american silver eagles yeah so that put me behind uh so that was one tube i'm gonna open this up right now because i'm dying to get in here and just finish this thing off right there 2019s, and then um, this is the partial tube in the flips. So that's my first lesson. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Don't ask, and don't underestimate them. <laughs> and I am going to fill this uh, tube of BU Eagles. Now they're they're different dates, but uh, these are 2019s. So yeah, I don't really care. Uh, about the dates being different. I'm not into, you know, getting every year. It's not my strategy. It's just, uh, it's just uh, American Eagles to me. So I'm going to put these singles in. And I'm going to tell you about what the second lesson I learned was during this tubular journey, as Salivate Metal likes to call it. And that was, it takes discipline. Oh, my word. I mean, not just to stack this many eagles, okay, but just not to get, you know, distracted, okay? I, I'm, I'm a pretty disciplined stacker. I focus, right? You've probably seen my videos on maintaining your stacking focus. Well, guys, I'll be honest with you. Getting this many eagles taxes your level of focus. You know, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I strongly believe in setting a stacking strategy. So you don't veer off course, you don't like regret your purchases, that type of thing. But oh man, this really stretched me. <laughs> All right. And the other thing I did was, uh, you know, not just uh, J and Bullion, but my local coin shop. That's where I got these. Uh, and that brings me to my second lesson learned. Build a great relationship with your local coin shop dealer. It is key, guys. You've probably seen my videos with uh, Tim Marshner, the owner of the Stampin' Coin Shop in Manchester. In fact, why don't I just show everybody his card? He is an amazing guy. He really is. He was so helpful. He knew I was trying, I was taking Silver Dragons on. I talked about it almost every time that I went there. I mean, it was like... Oh, man, I got to get more American Silver Eagles, Tim. <laughs> I, I think I got a lead. He was loving this, too. It was kind of funny. Um, you know, <laughs> this is something else, too. Every time I would walk in, he would say, Oh, I got something for you, Yankee. Hold on. And he'd go back. He had put Silver Eagles aside for me. He especially uh, put aside Circulated or Cull Silver Eagles. I'm going to talk about that soon. But... Um, you know, it's cool to have a professional relationship 
with uh, your local coin shop dealer. You never know um, the opportunities it's going to open up for you. Um, it's helped spawn the Yankee Swap with Tim. Um, it, it, um, it helped me get Silver Eagles at tremendously low prices because he knew I was a regular and I was going to keep on stacking this stuff. So he got me two more um, brilliant uncirculated. These are uh, 2007s. And I'm, again, this is mixed date, so I'm going to put them in with my BUs. Nice and easy. <laughs> uh, and then he gave me this. So so what did you say this was, Tim? Uh, well, that, that box is a what they call a government box. It's a velvet case, presentation case, that's made specifically for oh. Silver Eagles. Look at and, that. And um, hmm. because it's made of velvet, the Eagles tarnish it over time. But a simple dip will oh, remove that. Oh, look at that. 2013, nice date. Yeah, I'm going, I don't going, see any more in here. Going for my final three American Silver Eagles so that I can limp over the finish line after Silver Dragons has already uh, cooled down and put laurels on his head and <clears throat> had the camera crews you on him. for ruining your day? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I sh I'm not telling them to have an A-OK -okay day. I'll tell you. Well, we're going to have to go to the back and find some more. All right. That's cool. Thanks. Check it out. And it was another BU. This one's a 2013. I was like, love it. Let me get it out <laughs> and put it in the tube. So there. If I count that right, yep, that is 20 American Silver Eagles. Mixed dates, BU, and it goes in the monster box. And uh, yeah, this one, mm, I probably shouldn't pop it open, but I always like to see, I do like to see them. So <laughs> these babies, 2019s, yeah, my final tube. Awesome. Wow, yeah, I'm a little attentive there. <laughs> okay, great. Wow, 25 tubes. And that brings me to the third lesson that I learned on this incredible journey, and that is it's worth buying circulated or cull eagles whenever possible. That's what you really want to get, guys. The deals were tremendous. I got tubes and tubes worth of eagles at or just above spot. It, were some of them damaged? Yeah, they were, but most actually were beautiful. I mean, just borderline BU, okay? And some of them, Tim sold me, to be honest with you, they were BU, absolutely. Maybe a little tone, tarnish, whatever. You know, and I learned so much by getting cull or circulated eagles. I learned how to I learned how to remove that nasty colorized plastic from my eagles, right? <laughs> Using xylene that Tim gave me. I learned how to get rid of tarnish and tone because you know Yankee doesn't like it. He he likes his silver shiny, but I learned how to do it without wiping or scratching them any more than they needed to be, just dipping them. So that was a lesson learned for me. The only challenge when collecting or stacking, I should say, silver eagles in the cull or circulated condition is that it is hard when you're in a race <laughs> to stack that many fast, okay? So right here, let me show you. The, these uh, six, seven tubes are circulated, all right, or cull, non-BU. So you can tell a little bit by the edge tarnish on them. These are some of the old ones. You, you know, you can see. Yeah, definitely have a little bit of mark there. It's not a big deal. Um, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely can see with the light. <sighs> Guys, this is how to stack at a really economical pace. I mean, it is fantastic. I've had people... 
I've had people malign uh, this whole effort, ridicule me uh, for you know stacking American Silver Eagles. Uh, they've scoffed at the extra premium you pay for Eagles, or or say, well, if you're a prepper, you know why are you getting U.S. government issued silver? So you know what? <laughs> Fine, they can stack whatever they want. For me. This stuff right here continues to be one of three crucial categories in stacking the Yankee way. And I'm not changing my mind. Th this stuff is awesome. But, you know, consider, if you're not in a race, <laughs> getting circulated eagles. I, I had to switch into overdrive, and I just could not stack as fast as needed to have a shot at beating Silver Dragon. So a lot of these, all of this over here, is brilliant uncirculated. But guys, this is silver. Any way you slice it, whatever condition, it's all silver and it's worthy of stacking. So how about the fourth lesson that I learned while stacking this monster box? And it is, this sucker's heavy. I mean, come on! <laughs> oh, check this out. You ready? Yep. How much? 41. 41 pounds. For American Silver Eagles, dude, that is heavy. What do you think? <laughs> Thanks. No problem. That is a lot of weight. And, you know, some of you might think that's trivial, but for Yankee, it's not. One of my philosophies is to stack dense, and I like to do that. I have, you know, other uh, stuff that I stack, especially gold, and boy, does that reduce the overall weight of your stack. Having multiple boxes of this stuff, yeah, that's somewhat contradictory to my, stat, uh, my stacking strategy, so, you know... This 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 is probably it, guys. I, I'm I don't think I'm gonna do another monster box, at least not anytime soon. Um, my next my next goal is to fill this. It is a guardhouse box specifically for half dollars. So I, I'm gonna be focusing more on you know getting the Kennedys, getting the Benjis, filling this really nice box that I got um, from Talking Bullion. Really appreciated that gift. So, yeah, and that's the, the, the second um, focus for stacking the Yankee way, constitutional silver. So, you know, while I have government uh, issued silver, focusing on constitutional, the third area that I'm going to start focusing on more is fractional gold. Gotta love the gold. I really hope that uh, one day, it's going to take years, but one day to put a mini cannon together of quarter ounce Canadian maple leaves and put that next to my, you know, uh, Yankee cannon. That would be great. So there you have it. Those are my, you know, five lessons that I learned from stacking what I think is the best government bullion to stack. The most beautiful, the most highly recognizable, most highly trusted, very liquid, in my opinion, the pivotal precious metals to own after a collapse of our fiat currency. Yeah. I still am a prepper stacker, and that's this right here, guys. American Silver Eagles. Mm. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much. Please, again, subscribe, like, leave a comment down below what you think. <sighs> Congratulations, Silver Dragons. Congratulations to us both. And, well, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay. Jeez. Oh my word, I'm gonna get a hernia!